welcome to the Applied Picklist tutorial. Picklists serve several purposes. Firstly, they can be used for the individual update of spatial objects. Secondly, they can be used as a library table for the on-mass update of spatial objects. Thirdly, they can be used in the formal data entry as a drop-down list for consistent naming conventions with associated spatial update of the object style if required. In this tutorial, we will investigate the first two. This tutorial is broken into two sections. We'll be using two tools located within the Data Entry Toolkit. If we navigate to the Discover tab, to the Data Entry Group, and to the Apply drop-down. Firstly, we'll be using the Apply Picklist tool, and then subsequently, the Apply Style tool. The Apply Picklist tool will en masse update individual and all objects within the map window. The Apply Style tool will allow you to digitize and also update selected objects. Several polygons have no associated pattern fills, but have a textual attribute associated. OK, let's get started with the Apply Picklist tool. On the Apply Picklist tool, we need to select the respective picklists we want to use to update the map objects. In this case, eyes of geology. What we will see here is a representation of the pick list from the pick list manager. Please note you cannot edit within this forum here, you have to go back to the pick list manager. These are purely in a read only state. The apply pick list tool can be either used with all the codes, in this case 43, or we can select one individual item to update. So what that would do is update everything where that text string in the pick list matches the text string in the unit name field. For this example, we want to update all objects. On the lower portion of the apply pick list dialog, you see style table options. Two options exist here, source table and thematic map. Source table is the default option. What the source table will do is update the table permanently. What the thematic map option will do will create a thematic map and not alter or permanently change the source table. In this example, we will permanently update the source table. Firstly, we need to select the table we want to update. Secondly, we need to basically select the joining or the field which will match the pick list. In this instance, it's the unit name. So for this process to work, we have to ensure that the code within the pick list, so all those text string values, match all the text string values in the unit name. So what it will do is match the value there and the value over here. And then it will update the styles contained within the pick lists on the map window. Please note, depending on how big or small the map objects are and how many records are available, this can take anything from seconds to a minute or so to update. So please be patient. OK, let's click apply to get things started. You'll be able to see the objects progressively being updated over on the left. The main polygons we were concentrating on were these over to the east. And you can see here those colours have been updated. And there we have it. The Applied Pick List tool has applied all the colours, styles and patterns from the pick list onto that eyes of geology table. Now because that's made a permanent change to the table, it's probably a good idea to save the table. So we'll navigate to the Home tab, Save Table and save the eyes of geology table. Now all those changes are permanent. Let's close the Apply Pick List dialog and move on to the second half of the tutorial. This concludes the Apply Pick List tutorial. Thank you for watching.